Hi, my name is Ryan Languish, and I am continuing a series of recording playthroughs of all the old games that my brother and I made over the years to um, preserve them in video format. And today I'm taking a look at Zhang. I think that's how I would pronounce that word. Um, which was a game I made back, I think, in early 2008. I think I was a freshman in high school. Um, and it was for some contest. Um, I don't remember exactly what the online contest was. But let's take a look here. Ooh, very atmospheric. Bump down the volume here a little bit. Um, so yeah, I don't remember what the contest was, but this was my entry for it. I think John ended up making all of the music um, and sounds for it. Um, and my fear, starting a new game will erase any previous data. My fear with this, I don't think I ever like... Ooh, that's kind of a neat effect. I don't think I ever beat this game. Like, I think it's got... is kind of long. <laughs> okay, so I'm a little UFO thing. And I'm basically collecting orbs by flying around. And I want to not hit the sides. That's probably where I go at the end of the game. Um, but I think it's one of those games, one, because it was for a contest that had a deadline, you know, I was overly ambitious and, uh, likely didn't test it completely. Um, but it basically means that nobody, including me, has ever actually played through this game all the way. Um, I've just played parts of it. And so for this playthrough, I mean, I'm going into it at least with the, I bet this is a secret. Ha ha ha. At least with the intention that I could get in a 100% playthrough. But I have no idea if that's going to be feasible or if it's going to be too hard or too long. Um, so we'll see. This definitely takes heavy inspiration from an old game maker game called Sea Quest, which involved. was this little platformer where you would go around and. Um, can I hit this? No, I think I have to get something to do that. Um, little platformer that you go in and collect all these orb things, and that was kind of the point of the game, and it was kind of laid back and relaxing, and this definitely kind of follows that idea, but with a kind of lander UFO thing. So I can save here, which is probably smart. Oh my. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even get the thing? Okay. At least I have health. It's not like one hit kills me. But, oh, this is not, that's not good timing there. It's a little tricky. Okay, much better. I'm guessing there's a hundred of each of the orbs, would be my, my guess. Um, but okay, this is, I think, what's going to transport me into the alternate dimensions. So I'm going to go here. It's kind of a cool looking dimensional thing. Oh, and maybe I can't go here yet? I'm hitting enter to pause. Okay, maybe I need something to go there. Because I think we're in the world right now that gets the green orbs. And the purples, I think, are across the three dimensions. But then there's like a fire dimension that's for the reds. And then an ice one for the blues. So somehow I'm able to go through that. I don't know how that works, actually. I was kind of assuming I would just be able to go that way. But let's note that I, I haven't seen this game or played this game about 12 years, so... It's the little clouds. So I can't say my memory is exactly killing it right now. Um, part of me wants to go save again. <laughs> Just because... Oh, and saving gives me all my life back. Okay, so I probably am going to want to repeatedly come back to that spot.
Okay, let's maybe go get these other things first. Oh, there, that's one of the glitches in this game. If you, like, are holding a button at the right time when you switch screens, then it'll keep <laughs> being in that state even once you let go. So it was still going up even though I had, by that time, let go of it. So that's nice. Oh! Okay. That's dumb. And apparently when I come back here, this is behind my health bar. Okay, that's stupid. So is there any way I can get past that right now? Like if I gun it? I don't think so. So let's not go that way. So I think I need to go back and get this. Because I think... I lost the progress. Actually, I lost it for the other ones, too. Okay, let's just go save quick, and then... It's like, I don't know. I think I was sold kind of on this idea, but never really asked myself like, how fun is this game? Cause it's kind of got the explorer tubesy. I gotta really be careful cause otherwise I'm gonna have annoying backtracking. Um, but it's not like it's that fun. <laughs> It's not terrible. Just gotta be careful. Oh man, do I wanna go around this spiral? I'm getting myself into this. I'm gonna have to do it eventually, right? Oh my, Parallels decided now was a good time. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Parallels is the only reason I'm able to play these games on my Mac and get an old version of XP, but not digging that little pop-up. Okay. Our goal is to make it out of here alive and go back to the safe. <laughs> I don't... It might be like the only safe point, like... It may be the central point that I always have to try to return to. This is one of those games that, like, if I take my time, I have, like, fairly good confidence that I can survive. But I get impatient, because it's, just, like, really tedious. And then I try to rush, and then I die. That's the formula. Okay, we're not trying to do any more, because I don't want to have to do that spiral again. So we're just going to safety. Just up here. I thought I got that. Am I losing my mind? Okay. I thought I got all the what was down here. But did I leave a purple? I also want to get to the other dimensions because I think they have different music. So I want to hear what, what other music. I'm trying to think of what would allow me to go through the dimensional thing. Like, why wasn't I able to? 
doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's not out of the question that there's something wrong with the game, like bugs that are preventing things from working properly. But maybe I'm just not remembering something. Let's try going to the up side of over here. Okay, do purples like not get remembered in my save or something? I feel like I've gotten some of these purples and then they come back. Yeah. So I think that's that's gotta be a bug, right? That those purples are Unless maybe purples are do I need a purples to teleport? And they like keep coming back? I don't remember that at all being the case. But um Yeah, I don't know. Okay, this is Kind of annoyingly narrow. Easy does it. I remember I was able to make these levels pretty quickly because I would just like draw them in the sprite editor or in paint or whatever. And then the images are all stored separately. Um, and then when it loads them into Game Maker, it just sets them as the sprite for an object. And that object is set to solid to have collisions. And that pretty much just works because it's doing the pixel perfect collisions, which is really demanding <laughs> programmatically as far as... It has to calculate exactly. Yeah, those purples totally just like come back. Which makes me... It makes me wonder if that means something. Like... Like, is that how I teleport? Is I need to like collect purples to be able to teleport? I would go back to that other one, but I kind of would rather just explore and see if I find another one. It just seems odd. At least odd if it, the goal was just to collect all the purples. Odd or broken? Oh my. Okay. The closer you are to a windmill, the slower the things go relative. Okay. Good work, Ryan. Okay. Nice little narrow. Is there another? Oh my. Not really digging that. Of course. I'm just happy to be alive. Like, nobody wants to play a game like this. Like, for a long period of time. You're just gonna die once and be. Okay, I can't go that way. Be so mad. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I don't remember how these open. There must be like, a, I must get like an ability to be able to shoot those buttons. I'm realizing that I don't, oh, that stupid glitch. It's stuck going left. I can't stop going left. Okay, we're good. I had to press left again, which is counterintuitive when you're going more left than you want to go. Man, it's like I need to go save, but... Yeah, no. Not right now. Oh jeez, I just don't like, like what I'm... Okay, what the heck? Is there like a button I'm not aware of? Okay, space, just... So there's like something I need to get to be able to do those. But there's like no indication of what it is or where I would go to get it. So that's nice. That purple came back. Does the purple just come back after a certain amount of like... 
rooms. Yeah, it's just really annoying. So, I'm gonna go save. Or attempt to, anyway. Jeez. Okay. Um, and then maybe go back to that... Uh, portal thing. Because I'm just wondering, like... What... If maybe now that I have some purples, like, I can go through the portal. It's amazing how much you can forget about something that you worked on for a long time. Oh, save. Save was the first first thing we wanted to do. Okay. We actually have quite a few greens. kind of want new music, that's enough reason for me to want to... I mean, this is fine, but, you know. It's just being a little repetitive. Okay, is it going to, like, look different, or... Like... Oh, now... Do I lose purples? Oh, I do! Okay, ten purples. Okay. Some new music. Ten purples allows me to teleport. Okay. Now, the problem is Fireworld... It's very jaggedy. Oh my. Man, some hot, like, kind of techno tunes from John. Oh no. Oh no. This is horrible. A recurring trend in my games is I make them way too hard. Like that. Wait! They hurt me? Oh, those are... Those aren't orbs. They're bullets. Well, dingus. That's just dumb. Okay, well we learned something today. So our goal is to go into the fire world, and then hopefully if I get back to that room in the fire world, I'll be able to save. We learned something that in the fire world, this shoots like in a curvy pattern, and I thought they were orbs. So I was trying to collect them, and I was dying. <laughs> we will not do that this time. Okay, at least we understand how this game works now. Why did I make the bullets look like exactly like the red orbs? Like, what kind of sadistic person am I when I make these games? Like, do I think people are going to find that fun? Lord, this is just something else. So I gotta shimmy on down this little cavity. Ah. Oh. Look how similar those look. Look at some of these little gaps. Look, what was I thinking? Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, I like hard games, but seriously. Okay, at least we can save. Then we probably have to go through a bunch of this. Oh my god. Oh dear. Do 
you have a, uh, this one isn't blocked by a button. I'm guessing like the people that judge this contest probably never even knew that there was any other world besides the normal one. What is with these gaps? Holy Toledo. I was having enough trouble in normal world. Oh, and if you hit something, oh my gosh, this is the worst game. This is horrible. Okay, can we, but I have to go through the zigzag again? I just like don't have the patience. Like, I can do pretty well if I take my time. But, oh, the, that's enough time. Well, I guess I'm going this way. Again. Okay, I'm really uh, doing well here. Just getting hit. Another thing that's really stupid is, imagine you're going along in this game and you've got like most of them. There's like no way to know where you're missing orbs. Like you would just have to search around or remember where you didn't go and get them. I don't know if I have it in me to go down that little thing again. I wanna find Snow World. I think Fire World's probably the hardest. Like I think I tried to make it really angular, but look at just how tight these cavities are, like... Okay, it's the most safe I've ever felt in Fireworld. Um, okay. Where do we go? Oh, where are we feeling lucky? And there's like no other save points. So if I mess up in this area, which is very easy to do, I'm just like screwed. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I wasn't sure if a 100% playthrough was feasible. I'm beginning to think I probably don't have it in me. Like, it really would probably take me a long time. Oh my gosh. This game, this game is terrible. Like, I remembered it was hard, but this is like brutal. This is really brutal. And like, I lose all that progress. You know, and I guess it turns into, you know, you kind of come up with a route that you need to run to get some and then get back to the save point and kind of treat that like a level so that you save your progress. <laughs> like what, what is that? Okay, well, my new quest is to find the freaking snow world and put myself out of my misery. Oh, this isn't the one that goes. I'm not feeling that right now. So one of these side ones must go down. Okay, I just can't get too impatient. I need to... It's like, I want to know, like, what happens at the end of the game, like, if you actually get everything. Okay, let's, while well, we're here, not that I really think we're playing to win the, the whole thing at this point, but try to use my brain. So this has got to go drop all the way through to the next room. Okay, that was impatience.
Hüfte. Here we go. Oh, so help me that spiral room. Like, it's just gonna be a nightmare in here. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? It's just like a volcano? Oh my gosh, this has got to be the worst level design of all time. What was I thinking? It's like I was convinced that people out there, this is what they wanted in a game, was just like a brutal challenge. But... Like... Nobody wants this. Is there like a portal at the min middle of this? I seem to remember there at one point being a portal. It doesn't look like it. And if there's no portal, I'm not about to try to make it all the way through this thing. But that's so stupid, that volcano thing, like, you're kind of at the mercy of it, and, like, getting back to try to save? I miss normal world. I'm tired of fire world. <laughs> Okay, that's that's a uh, normal run, right? That's not a fireball that's gonna kill me. Oh, I'm bungus. Okay, well, I just wanna find a portal. So maybe we try going right from that, okay. Ryan, I can't just lose health right off the bat or I'm gonna, oh, I actually quit. Let's try loading the game. We'll see if load functionality works. Okay, it appears to. Start over this nice song. Okay, not rushed, not rushed. Not rushed, conserve your health. Ugh. When I set out on this project to record playthroughs, oh dear. Um, I really wanted to like get as many full playthroughs as possible. Dear my goodness, what on earth? Okay, we're gonna do it. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm, I'm I will say I'm giving it giving it everything I got here. If you were the ice world, where would you be? Would you be up here? An orb was not worth this. I wonder if John made the music for this. I wonder, did he ever even play this game? You know, did he tell me like, hey Ryan, nobody's gonna wanna play this. It's like an ex exercise in frustration. I'm like one hit away. Like some of these gaps are literally like mere pixels wider than my UFO. What on earth was I thinking? I mean, I guess the one kudos is the controls are pretty fluid. Like I feel fairly in control as evidenced by me getting this far. But it's like such 
small margin for error. Oh, they're all dead ends. I thought one of these was gonna like go up to a room. I wonder how my pulse is doing. I feel like I'm just like in a state of intense concentration. Okay, let's go this way. Oh good, you have to get in between the looping things and go that way. Heck no. Sorry, not interested. Okay, why? Like, is it necessary for this to be the world's smallest gap? Okay, um, trying to think of what I want to do here. Maybe I give one more attempt in that general direction and see if I can find a portal. Otherwise, I'm probably heading back to the portal I came from. Because this is just... This is the worst. <laughs> and I like how it's like the first portal you encounter in the game just throws you into the fire world. And it's like, hey, you gotten used to the controls? Good! Good luck with this! Okay. Oh yeah, my favorite room. Is this any easier down here? I don't think it is. Golly. Like, do I hate people? Like, the people that I was gonna have play this game? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna go back. I'm just like trying to think, like, say I made it a mission to beat this game, which I am not going to do, but it's just like, how long would it take me? And how frustrated would I be? Like, this would probably push me to the brink of my sanity to try to like legitimately beat this game. Okay, we came out of the fire world with a good uh, six orbs worth of progress to show for it. This world's gonna feel like cake now that I trained in the fire world. So much breathing room. And I like how you get to the world and like, if you don't have enough purples, you're like stuck there until you collect purples to get back. Okay, let's go save. So we never have to go back there. Okay, there's got to be a way to get to the snow world from this world. Although I'm going to need purples along the way. So if I see purples, I should for sure get them. It's just like any cool ideas I actually had in some of these early games are just completely overshadowed by the fact that the difficulty is way too hard for anybody to ever want to play it. Which is like sad. <laughs> um, let's get this purple. I'm curious where this goes. Like, I want to say each world had a way to get to each other world. So, like, this should be able to get to the fire and the ice.
because I need to at least see the ice world and hear the music and record all that. Ooh, Ryan. I'm just trying to think, like, someone that isn't me that would have played this game, they would have played it for like 10 minutes and been like, uh, no. No, thank you. Not particularly interested. Where does this go? Oh, this is kind of weird. This seems like a path that could loop to a... Uh, to a portal, right? Right? Okay, don't get overconfident. This is going somewhere. And I'm gonna get there and it's gonna have a portal and I'm not gonna have enough purples. So that's what's gonna happen. Calling it now. Oh dear. Okay, slow down. I just like have my hand on my forehead just like staring at this. Oh, there's another save? That's nice. I didn't know if there were any other saves besides that one. That's at least me being a little bit nice to the player. Okay, full health. Look at all this progress. Now, would I put a save close to a portal? Probably. Is that like when you get back from it, you can save? That's kind of what I did on the other one. Okay, so that's all just to loop around to the save. There's nothing else over here, is there? Besides that, that I'm not gonna go for right now. So now I need to go through all this again. Just so tedious. I can't remember how this works. Purples, oops, for when the time comes. That makes so much more sense. I was so confused by what was happening with the purples coming back. Okay, I can't remember. Did we come this way the first time around? I think we did. We didn't go down, though. Oh, yeah, we did. And we found that we couldn't go this way. Did we go up? Yes, and we can't go that way. So help me if I, like, made it that you can't get to the ice world until you, like, beat... Dang it, that stupid glitch. Or rather, bug. Because I just, I just want to see the ice world. Like, is that too much to ask? Could I go this way? Like, I can't get to any of this yet. Oh, that glitch is going to be the death of me. We don't really care that much about the greens, so let's not kill ourselves trying to get them. Come on, give me a portal. Throw them. Oh, it's a portal. Please tell me 
I have a weapon. Okay. Ice world. So help me if it throws me into fire world. I will just cry. Okay. We're in the snow world. Some nice relaxing music from John. I don't know what the defining characteristics of the snow world are. These icicles fall. Aha! I know myself too well. I wouldn't put icicles there unless they killed you. Oh, nice little shattering effect. We're gonna make it too... Because I, I need to get to a save point. Oh, jeez. Like, if I really want to explore the snow world, I need to first find a way to save in the snow world. And the best bet is probably going to be trying to get back to that first one. Oh, it's a little different how this is connected. Okay, we can't really afford... Oh, dang it, it's completely different. So I can't get back. But we did find that other save. So if I go down. There should be a way to get to a save this way. Because <laughs> I'm way back. We know exactly where to go. It is only the fact that I want to kind of capture as much final footage of this. This is probably the last time this game is ever going to be played by anybody, so... I want to just try to give it a fair shake, but holy smokes, does this do everything to make you not want to play it. Serve our health so that we have enough to get to the save in the snow world. Oh, and we need to collect some purples because we had 11 by the time I actually found the portal. There's one up here. I must have gotten some this way. I can't remember if I got some up there. Okay, I need this purple. Although, I only, oh, I have 10. I thought I only had nine. Okay, number one goal, get to a save spot. And our only bet is probably back from the one I just came from, wherever it happens to be in this world. Icicles kill me, so run. The game is definitely kind of sprawling and ambitious for what was like a month-long contest or whatever. I just missed the uh, part of making the game fun. <laughs> yeah, probably this way. It's not at least not as bad as the freaking fire world. I'm just gonna kind of keep drifting in the general direction. Ah, oh, that glitch! Come on, that's, if it's because I make a mistake, so be it. But okay, this is this is the way.
Is it, is it? I forget. I feel like I'm just kinda. Am I like looping? Is this a puzzle? Do I have to like. I think I am looping. I think I have to probably like do this in the right order. Is that the idea with this world was just like, you had to do things a certain way? Am I literally just stuck in this room until I like figure out some pattern? Okay, so I might not be able to go that way right now. I think there is like some secret and there's probably somewhere else that kind of like hints at it. But is that literally keeping me from getting to a save? Like, This game. Who made this? <sighs> I mean, like anxiety. I mean, at this point, I've at least seen the main characteristics of the game. We've seen the three worlds. So worst case, I won't feel like I really botched it and missed something in the playthrough, but I now laugh at myself for thinking I was going to get a... Is this... Nope. I was thinking maybe I could go through that. Oh, jeepers. If I would have just gone down a little further, I would have seen... Okay, I think I have one more outing in me. I think I'm gonna go to the freaking snow world and I'm just gonna explore like to the right and up and see if I find anything cool. And then that's probably it. This game does not deserve more of a playthrough than that. And it would be like a 10 hour video if I actually committed to beating it. And I'd be so angry. Like that fire world was just absurd. Oh yeah, we need to collect purples. Eight, nine, and then we get the one on this side. Okay, Ice World. Can you imagine if you like, you went all this way away from this, the uh, save point, travel all the way, finally find the portal, finally go through, and then literally the first room you go here and an icicle just kills you without you even seeing it coming. Like that is patent Ryan Languish teenage game design. I don't know why I'm bothering with these, but since they're easy to get. So let's try going up, maybe. See if that leads us anywhere interesting. I'll never know, I guess, how you get the things that let you press the buttons to open those doors. Like, there's somewhere that you must get 
Like the ability to... Oh, we, we went this way. It was stupid. The ability to shoot those or something? Very nice atmospheric music. Thank you, John. Okay, we're at least going somewhere. Oh my gosh, it's a thing. Oh, this probably lets me do blue doors. Health expansion, your ship will now not lose as much health when it is damaged. I do not remember this being a thing. Well, that's nice. And you don't get music anymore. Because <laughs> clearly... Okay, there we go. Okay, well, that's nice. So, like, theoretically, if I could get to a save point, you know, I'd be able to lock in having a health expansion. I don't think, so I can't go this way because there's like just a door. So I went down before. But I didn't really. Okay, health expansion, is that the best you can do for me? I don't remember how much I was actually getting hurt before. But. There's some kind of secret with that one room of like an order of... Gosh, dang it, that glitch! This game's hard enough when I have to face the consequences of my own mistakes. Oh, am I in that room? Like, how specific of a order do I have to do? Like, but if I go to the right, it always gets me out. But there's like something I need to do. Let's try up. I can really only go up, down, and left. This is very dumb. I think there is, like, somewhere else that you see, like, in the walls or something that tells you a pattern, and then that's the pattern that you have to go through that. Which is like, you know, ooh, good, good puzzle, puzzling. Okay. I mentioned that I don't like this game. <laughs> it's cool to see it again. And like, you know, it definitely, if you've been watching through any of the other games, which at this point is probably just John, it definitely shows a progression in what we knew how to do. I'm not sure there's much more else I can do in this world. So, just masochistically go into this little... So, if I'm not mistaken, there's no accessible save point in this world. 
At least not since I don't know the pattern of that one. Oh my gosh. And then there's the, on top of everything else, there's that glitch. And I can't even go back through the portal because I don't have enough purples yet. So did I really think like you're gonna come here and you're gonna explore around and then you're gonna have to go back to the original world and then get to a save point? Otherwise, you're gonna lose all your progress. And people will find it fun. Can I go over here? Okay, there's a purple that's pretty easy to get. Might as well. Are the icicles gonna be back? Yes, because it's very important that we attempt to kill me. So I can't go here yet, because I have nine purples. It doesn't tell you anything. That's why I was so confused the first time. How many... Oh, oh my gosh, my... So far, like, most of my health loss in recent times is just that bug of it continuing my flight through the screen. Oh, there it is. Well... <laughs> I think I'm about burned out on this one. I can't remember if there's really anything more to explore in the normal world on this side of town because I think everything was kind of blocked right can this go down or is it just a no well I'm not sure it's worth me doing anything else oh, yep that's a good note to end on is me just running that same bug but that's Jang the game that, that, like, me playing right now is probably the most anybody's ever played it, because I definitely didn't when I was testing it. We at least got to see the three different worlds, we got to hear the different music, and we got to see a prime example of me making games that are way ridiculously too hard and suck all the fun out of it by being too hard. But hopefully, it was an enjoyable watch for the few of the proud that would even watch such a video. But I'm glad I have it documented and can at least remember the memory of this game. And with that, I will be back with whatever the next game is for me to record shortly. Goodbye.